Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Publisher. In this session I want to talk about text boxes and picture frames and tables, the three main elements in Publisher. So first of all, the text box. Drawing a simple text box. Now when you type in a text box, so I'll just type some text, we can see it just comes across like so. I have to make this a bit smaller. What you get in Publisher quite often, if you're not careful, is this symbol appearing, which means that you've got text in overflow. So if I just make that a bit bigger so you can see it, that means there are words hidden in this box. To fix that, you would simply need to make the box bigger or remove some of the text. So that's um, one slight issue you have with text boxes. Another issue that is slightly irritating is the default setting for paragraphs has this space after each line it's not so impacting on a paragraph like this but if you're doing a, a mail merge or an address that does look uh, doesn't look great so to fix this you need to go into home paragraph and remove this six point down to zero and line spacing one and then click OK to that and then that will remove that space. Now, if I just delete that text, make this box a bit smaller. A lot of publisher documents have what are called linked text boxes. So if I just go up to format, you can see there's a link tool there. So I need to create a second text box. Use my control key to copy that one down. One, two. Can't actually see these boxes until I put some outline on them. So if I do that. Just quickly put an outline on those so you can see them and copy that one with my control key. Now if I start in this box and go back to format, create link and then you get a little cup of coffee or tea, pour that into the second box and then click into the second box, create link pour that into the third box and that's how you create links so if I type in that top box you can do the same thing in Word as instead of getting overflow you get text going into the next box you still get overflow on the last box but quite a lot of the templates that you use in Publisher have text boxes like this which is linked and then they seem to have a blank text box at the end which is just I think in case there is overflow it will just drop into a text box that sometimes you can't see until you click onto it so that is how you do linking text boxes and if I just get rid of these another text box now as in Word you can add tabs in, into a text box by clicking on the ruler so if I want to put a tab that's set two centimeters I can click there. there's a left tab and there's the left tab and at four centimeters left tab. So if I type my name, press tab, jumps there, um, test, press tab, jumps there, test. Now you can also do that through the paragraph settings box and you can use leader dots and things like you, that you would normally do in Word, you can do inside a text box. So to do that, going back to home, paragraph, settings and then tabs so there's the two tabs that I've created so even though I thought I did them at two and four they're slightly out so if I clear those off and actually type two and a bullet that's the leader dots and set and then type four set so two four set ok now if I type somebody else's name John tab k1 tab 123 so I get the bullet list in between now in the past I've been that person who's pressed the full stop and counted how many dots there were in between because that's before I knew about leader dots and things like that but that's how you do that in publisher now if I delete that text box and insert a picture 
from file and let's go which is Waterloo um, this guy so it creates a picture quite a big picture a new feature you get in publishers is this swap feature but to see how that works I need to insert another picture from file and who, who shall I get a dragoon and again I'll bring that picture down make it quite small so what this swap feature does if I click on both of these hold my shift key down and then click this button it just basically swaps these picture frames around by clicking that but you have to have them both selected so that's a feature I suppose if you're doing an article and you decided that one photograph should be in another part of the document you can just quickly select them both and flick it over it saves seconds no more than that now if I just get rid of these two so that's the picture frame and then the other, the other frame that you get in publisher is a table frame which is very similar to a word table you have design options at the top where you can pick a design preset design it doesn't stop you manually changing that if you didn't like that you can do that and you've got a layout option where you can center text you can change text direction and you can insert and delete rows you can also if you highlight some text merge and center cells and like so so that's very similar to word now if I get rid of that just click on that delete the last thing I want to talk about is a watermark and the header and footer. So header and footer, you could go to the insert tab, header and footer, or like in Word, you can double click at the top of the page. No, you can't. Yes, you can normally. If I go into there, I'll type Steve. There's a tab on the ruler. Tab across twice because I want the date, space, and time. Like so. And if I go down to the footer click into the footer tab across insert page number and then if I click out of this there's the page number and there's the the header now remember header and footer goes on every page if I double click back into that you can see you can double click back into it now I would like to put an image in here or like a watermark I could just insert a photograph and stretch it but if I go to page design and background these are preset backgrounds but if you go down to the bottom where it says more backgrounds you've got the option of picture or texture fill insert a picture from file if I go back up to photos Waterloo this time I'll get a, a battle see now I can't actually see this so I don't get live preview but I know that that picture is going to be quite intrusive so if I pull the transparency across a little bit and then click OK to see what that looks like now I probably need to move that across a little bit more so if I just go back into it and then pull it across say to 75 see what that looks like okay that looks okay and then um, click out of this so you've got yourself a little watermark a nice little watermark any photograph will do and then as you then start inserting text boxes unlike previous versions of publisher these are set to no fill so you can just type it and sit text boxes wherever you require them like so and then you can insert picture frames and all of this is sitting on top of this lovely background make this a bit bigger like so so that's how you do a watermark background and that's basically how you deal with the frames that you get in publisher text box picture and a table and that's the end of this session thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed that